Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I did go ahead and get in a couple of new products that I'm actually trying out today. Um, but most of today is actually going to be going ahead and looking at um, eyeshadow palettes specifically for Valentine's Day. But really, I mean, these are the colors of Valentine's Day, right? And it really does it's these are a lot of the colors that um if you are planning your makeup by seasons like winter spring summer fall these are colors that you would wear in winter anyway so i'm sort of thinking that even though it's officially for valentine's day palettes um since it's winter and burgundy and red and pink um tend to you know fall into the winter category for winter makeup if you do your makeup by seasons then these palettes are good for this time of year and they're not very expensive so uh, that's what today is about and we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on I actually didn't use the super goop um, it's later in the evening and I'm not going out so no reason to have SPF on at this point and um, as far as what I have on one of my new purchases well I have the true match and I have the cool 2.5 I got this in the middle of summer when I was darker and it really was a good foundation <clears throat> excuse me a good foundation for the summertime but um i've lightened up a lot like most people do during the um winter time so i picked up the true match um cool one and so this is the difference between and i didn't realize there was that much of a difference between them uh, i think the formula in and of itself is pretty forgiving so you don't even though it's named true match you can play with a variety of shades and um this by l'oreal you can get it in most of the um walgreens walmart uh target those sort of places so most places have this line and this is a line that's supposed to have an amazing shade range so um again i do have the true match uh cool one this was also reformulated during 2023 so it is a new formulation and i've like i said I'm almost all the way through this one and I picked up a second one so it tells you that I like it so that's what I have on there as far as what I did for cheeks today I did go ahead and use the elf um, this one is actually the dusty rose which I actually feel is more of a coral color I had it doesn't really or at least on my skin tone it doesn't pull dusty rose it definitely pulls coral so that's what i have on the cheeks i did go ahead and use a relove revolution highlighter on top of it and this one is in rose uh relove revolutions over at walmart it, everything is going to be five dollars and under and so it's a really good um really good line and then as far as lips, I went ahead and used Dazed by ColourPop as far as a lip pencil. And then the e.l.f. Lip Oil. And I actually was not expecting this deep of a red, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So, yeah. <clears throat> as far as on the eyes, I did go ahead and pick up... And this was over at Walmart, um, the duo. So it's a Sky High by Maybelline, and it's the primer and the uh, <clears throat> and the actual mascara itself. I do have it on the eyes right now, and I've really been wanting to get this. Sky High is one of my favorite formulas ever, and I think this is probably the third fourth tube that I picked up I can now officially throw this one out and um, to tell you the truth I didn't see much of a difference between these two this is the original one and then this is uh, a cosmic black one and um, I did go ahead and use this up but I don't really think there's much of a difference there 
As far as what I did go ahead and use on the eyes, um, again, I was over at Walmart. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a good time at Walmart. I picked up the Sincere, and this is uh, one of the Relove Revolution palettes. comes with six eyeshadows, and I used quite a few of them today. I did go ahead and use this on the inner corner, and I went from down here to up here. And then I also used this right under the brow um, as a brow highlight. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I did use these two shades on the outer corner. And this one I went ahead and put on the lid. Pardon me. And then I did use a ColourPop, um, yeah, I don't know where it went, but a burgundy eyeliner from ColourPop. And I do not know where it went right now. So here's the way that the eye look came out. So I am really enjoying these, and I don't know why it has this little tag on it here, and it won't come off. So um, Relove by Revolution, everything is $5 and under. These run for $3, and I think these run for $3 as well. And um, that's about all that I have on my face. As far as the palettes that I have, and again, these are all affordable, and... Um, Basically, if uh, most of these are Walmart, I think a couple of them are Ulta, but most of them are Walmart. Uh, the Empower by, again, We Love Revolution. So, again, they're one of the $3 palettes. And um, you can, yeah, I've been collecting these. Um, they've been like the ColourPop palettes that are over at Target. I've just been picking up one a month. Fearless, maybe not such a good, but it has a lot of, well, it's more of an autumn palette, I guess. But, um, again, pretty one. And then uh, Believe would be, again, another really good one for Valentine's Day. It has a lot of burgundies and that sort of thing in there. Um, let's see. Another one from Me Love Revolution is Euphoric. And... Um, so that's what this one looks like. Again, all of these are running at $3. I'm getting into a couple of different ones here. This is from uh, Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers. And so um, this line isn't as popular. It's, they usually bring it out uh, during Halloween, but during the rest of the year it isn't necessarily as popular but if you have this palette or you have access to it um if you really like it you might want to go to the wet and wild website i don't know if they still have these ones but um yeah it it might be a little harder to find than some of the other ones uh the elf and these are well this one is rose water and um these are their little four pans. And there's another one called Very Bad. And I had that one. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it anywhere. But uh, this one is Rose Water and Very Bad are both going to be right in that rose, uh, roseberry family. Uh, these are the Essence palettes, and these ones you can actually pick up over at Ulta. Usually they're in store. This is Moth It Up. Moth It, Moth It. I like to Moth It, Moth It. That's what this one is. And so a little bit darker here. And then this, my rose will go on. And I busted the packaging on this, which means that usually when I do that, it's a palette that I like and use a lot. So here's this one. Yeah, there you go. So these ones run about $4 over at, um, over at Ulta, and they have six shadows in them. Yeah, they have six shadows, and if they aren't in your Ulta, you can probably order them off the website. They're Essence, and then, um, oh, Wet n Wild. I don't know if this one, it was on the Ulta website. Uh, you can... It's probably still there. I haven't checked it, though. It's the Jolly Berry Jumper by Wet n Wild. And I thought this one would probably be a good a good one to do for Valentine's Day as well. 
And then I guess my last one is another Essence palette. Um, and this one is over at Ulta. Usually it's in store as well. And this is Welcome to Sin City. This is going to be an all shimmer palette. And mine came a little bit broken, but it still works. So it's a good palette as well. And I think that's just about everything that I went ahead and did on this. Um, it, it, it was basically just restocking. I knew that um, I looked over at my foundations, and there are quite a few that... I don't know if anybody else does this. I do this, and I do it with lots of makeup products where I'll use them just to the very end and then I'll save them just in case I might need them just in case there's a perfect situation so there are a lot of foundation bottles that I think are pretty and I want to keep them for decoration but you'll notice that they have just a little bit of foundation in them just in case I might need them and I have to stop doing that because that probably isn't very yeah oh and this one got makeup all over it as well oops sorry so anyway that's kind of, and this is a glisten up by Fourth Ray, which um, is on the ColourPop website, and it's a really good spray. It smells like oranges, and it gives you a really glowy finish. So um, that, I think, is the end of the video. And um, if, uh, well, again, um, I consider eyeshadow palettes that are for Valentine's Day to really be winter palettes and to be able to be used um, definitely all during winter into spring and with a lot of these being the pinky the pinky rose purple burgundy kind um, you can usually use year-round so um, that's again I keep on saying it's the end of the video and I'm not ending the video but this is it have a great day bye